Hey guys, this video will just be a quick one. First I want to fix the issue we have with the lifts. When you're standing on it, you can still interact with the lever. So it doesn't make much sense. And the main part of this video is going to be fixing the notify. Because at the moment, if you go to lock chest and you keep pressing E, it keeps spamming you. Or when you run out of gold, for example. So I'm going to do it so you can only generate one notify. But for the lifts, it's very simple fix, and that is because on the lift itself, we need to search for generate overlap events, and we need to turn it off, so it actually doesn't overlap with the interactable radius on the player, and it won't generate the interact prompt. So turn it off on all the extra static meshes. I'm going to actually remove this one, this base. And I'm just going to keep it on the base itself, on the lever base, on the lever handle. I'm also going to remove it so it doesn't move. Compile and save. And now if you go next to lift, you can't interact with it anymore. Only when you're here. Now for the notify. So to prevent it from spamming, we're going to create new event inside the player. And the reason we're going to do it in the event graph is because we need delay and you can do delay inside the functions. So we're going to move this down to create a little space. We're also going to comment all of this soon so it's not such a mess. But for now let's just create custom event and this will be create notify no spam something like that, I don't know what to call it. And then we drag in the create notify function. We're going to create some inputs, so drag this here, this one, and this one. It will all be the same. And now here we're going to create do once. I'm not sure if we have used it before, but what this does is it only lets you do something once until you reset it. And the way we're going to reset it is connect it here. And then after we'll do delay. Let's say five seconds because I think that's how long is the animation of the notify. And then once it's completed, we'll reset it. And this is quite simple. Now if I've done it on the chest let's say so let's go to items chest and here where it says that it's locked instead of this we're going to create notify notify no spam and it will be exactly the same but here it's going to say locked compile and save Let's also do it for the trader, or while we're here, open the door, it's the same thing here, create notify, no spam, on false, and it's locked, and then for the trader, we do have in the trader inventory icon, when we're trying to buy things. So here is sell to trader, this is trader not enough gold. So create notify, no spam, trader not enough gold. And then here in the buy from trader, we do have player not enough gold. So create notify no spam and this will be player not enough gold compile and save and there is just one thing that we can actually improve so now at the moment if you were to buy something you can see it doesn't create notify i keep pressing it until it disappears but there was still one little flick when it actually uh, removes it from the widget so we can maybe move it, increase it to 5.5 seconds. But then if I 
create this notify and go quickly to this chest. It doesn't give me notify until that one disappears and it is different notify so we want to display it. So what we can do is go back to player blueprint. Here after this do once we're going to promote this notify type to variable and this will be active notify type. We'll set it here after and then before we're going to do branch and check if this one equals enumerator this active notify type and if it equals we're still doing this so we're not spamming it but if it's not equal we need to reset it so we need to do sequence and first we will reset it so it opens and then second we're going to actually run the notify and this is it compile and save and now if I try to spam this it doesn't spam but if I go next to locked it will write locked and same with other way around it will give you at least one notify always and we don't want to do it for the items because you actually want to see what items you're picking up but we do have it in the crafting I believe as well and in the upgrade so let's change it there first I want to do 5.5 duration so it doesn't jump up when the first one disappears and then let's go to crafting in the graph straight away here on pressed crafting button we got crafting level too low so create notify no spam crafting level too low and then in the upgrade i think we have like three different ones yeah player not enough gold notify no spam player not enough gold copy this this one is crafting level is too low and this one is not enough materials not enough materials player not enough gold Oh no, sorry, this one was meant to be crafting level too low. And compile and save. And that is all. This one can spawn. And this one. These ones will be limited. Alright. Much better. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.